We're going to go now to Clute, Texas, to hear from another Republican contender, Congressman Ron Paul. Uh, Mr. Paul, uh, welcome uh, to Face the Nation. Let me uh, talk to you Thank first you. a little bit about uh, what the uh, vice president said about uh, Afghanistan, because basically what he said is uh, we're going to stay the course there. Now, I know a lot of people in your party don't uh, particularly agree with you on foreign policy, but has Afghanistan been worth our time and treasure? No, ab absolutely not. <clears throat> we went in there improperly. It was a waste. There's not going to be a happy ending. And I think the Republicans have dug a hole for themselves because they're trying to uh, militarize the president and say we should do more. And yet 75% of the American people said we've had enough. It's cost us too much money. It's time to come home. But, but this was Obama's uh, cherished position. He says this is the good war. And uh, now we've been there 10 years. It's a sad state of affairs. And I think it's uh, when you see uh, innocent people dying, when you see uh, all the collateral damage, you see 16 people getting murdered, that's a tragedy. But with thousands of innocent people are dying, and I just call them collateral damage because we endlessly drop these bombs around and all the people who died in Iraq. Now, it, it's time to change the policy. And this is my argument, is the American people want to change. They're tired of it. It's costing us too much money. But we're not offering anything differently and so if this is to be an issue uh, the other Republican candidates offer nothing more than the continuation of the status quo or actually increasing the militarism that we have around the world so I think that's a losing position what are your plans now I mean it seems clear to me and you can tell me I'm wrong but it seems clear to me that there's no way you're going to get the nomination now uh, do you intend to continue hanging around Obviously, yes. Uh, you know, the conventional wisdom is there's no guarantee it knows you were talking earlier on about uh, Romney being the, uh, the, the candidate. But that's the conventional wisdom, and I would admit that. But uh, no, the votes haven't been counted. There's quite a few states right now, there are six or seven states that we're doing quite well through the delegate process. So we don't even know who, who's getting what so far, and who knows what will happen on the first vote uh, at, at the convention. So I, I would say that uh, it's very encouraging because I am talking to a whole generation which is expanding, um, you know, as far as age goes. But when I can get 5,200 people out on a college campus, is wildly enthusiastic to hear the message of liberty and freedom and less wars and, cu and curtailing the Federal Reserve, there's no way I'm going to quit speaking out on this. And there's no way I'm going to give up on the effort to get the Republican back to their roots. You know, in, somebody, in some ways they say, well, why don't you give up and, and this will help the Republican Party. The truth is, I'm trying to save the Republican Party from themselves because they want perpetual wars. They, they don't care about presidents who assassinate American citizens. They don't care about searching our houses without search warrants. And these are the kind of things that people care about. And if the Republicans would take a different position, they may save themselves. But right now, uh, I, I see they're going to be in big trouble. What about the deficit? Sure, the Democrats spend too much money. But the Republicans said, well, our proposal is to balance the budget oh. in 30 years. I mean, people are laughing at that. So I say cut the budget by a trillion dollars. This idea that you have a debt crisis, the worst in the history of the world, and we won't cut spending, we have a problem. You know, uh, I must say, hearing you uh, this morning, uh, you sound like somebody that might uh, not support even the Republican candidate come the fall. Is there any way or any chance, or are you thinking about maybe uh, heading up a third party uh, effort uh, after the Republican convention? No, I don't have any plans for that. I didn't, I didn't hear uh, Gingrich mention it. He was thinking about it either. But no, no, I have no plans to do that. I'm, I'm uh, trying to win the nomination. The votes haven't been counted. I think the views I hold are very, very popular. I think we're in the, we represent the future. The other candidates represent the past. The president represents the past. We represent the future about what freedom really brings us, free markets and sound money and civil liberties and a sensible foreign policy. And this idea, they're living with their head in the sand to think that there's not a debt crisis. There is a debt crisis and you have to cut spending. This idea that you need to spend more money and print more money when you get into trouble, I mean, it's absolutely bizarre. And I think common sense tells us that you just can't keep spending. This is why you talked a little bit about this discord between Republicans and Democrats. It's because they refuse to admit there's nothing left in the Treasury and they're fighting. Before we were very rich, the middle class was rich and the revenues came in. 
but there, there's nothing there, and that's why this is why this conflict is going to get much worse until we admit the truth. Let me ask you this uh, quickly. Uh, some, uh, I, I think I heard somebody say you you have publicly said that uh, you'd like to be on the ticket with Mitt Romney if he gets it. Would you? I haven't said anything like that, and I don't see how that would happen. Uh, there's too many disagreements. Uh, I like Mitt Romney as a person. I think he's a dignified person, and I, 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 I you know, uh -huh. have uh, no common ground on on economics. I mean, he doesn't. Yeah. He isn't worried about the Federal Reserve, and he isn't worried about the foreign policy. He doesn't talk about civil liberties. So well, I have a hard time to expect him ever to invite me to uh, uh, campaign with him. Would you uh, vote for him, or would you support him? No, I, I haven't made that decision yet. I'm still campaigning. You haven't made the decision election. on whether you would support Mitt Romney if he gets the nomination? No, I have not. All right. Well, Mr. Paul, thank you very much for being with us this morning.